morning, everyone. Welcome to Geese Creek, South Carolina. If you please rise for our invocation. I invite you to pray. <clears throat> Most gracious God, we pause this morning to ask for your blessings on this graduating class. Thank you for the new insights and wisdom they have gained. Thank you for their knowledgeable instructors, committed SLPOs, and their dedicated A school staff. And thank you for the love and support of their family and friends. God, help them now to feel the true measure of their accomplishment and know that it was worth it. May today be a memory that burns bright within them. Strengthen them and bless them now. This is our prayer. Amen. Please be seated. Commander Cortley, Chaplain, staff, family and friends, and most importantly, graduates. Welcome to the graduation of Electronics Technician Class 2344 Tango. We take this time today to mark the completion of long months of hard work for these sailors as they pass their first leg on their journey to become nuclear operators. And we here at Nuclear Field A School are pleased to recognize the efforts and achievements that they have put forth. Today's guest speaker is from Cherry Hill, New Jersey, and joined the Navy in September of 2016. He completed Nuclear Field A School and Power School here in Goose Creek, South Carolina, and then permanent site in Boston Spa, New York. Upon completing training, he was stationed aboard the USS Boise a nuclear-powered fast attack submarine stationed in Norfolk, Virginia. During his time on board, he served as the Electrical Division's leading petty officer and filled in as the leading chief petty officer. He was responsible for the organization and completion of all drill scenario operations, shipboard maintenance, and organizing the transition into dry dock to begin in engineering overhaul. In January of 2023, he reported to Naval Nuclear Power Training Command, where he was assigned as an instructor in electrical equipment. It is my pleasure to introduce Electrician's Mate Nuclear First Class, Submarines Qualified, Michael Zubin. Thank you, Pastor Levinson. Good morning, Commander Curley, Chaplain, family, friends, and last but not least, graduates. Congratulations on reaching the first milestone of becoming a nuclear trained operator in the greatest Navy in the world. We, as the Naval Nuclear Power Propulsion Community, have an unmatched record of safety reliability, and sustained operational readiness. You are well on your way to becoming a critical part of our community. This is only the first of many difficult trials you may face on this journey, though. The Navy hasn't intended it to be this way. It has not only been a test of your capabilities, but also your resolve. Hopefully by now, you have proved to yourself that you are capable to endure and persevere through arduous times. You are capable of overcoming the obstacles and challenges that you will encounter throughout the pipeline. I would be lying, though, if I said I made it this far in my career just on my own. Just like you, I had to lean on my shipmates, my leaders, and most importantly, uh, my family. For the families of the graduates, know that your sailors have made it through this pipeline, through long days of studying, difficult exams, and uh, equally difficult instructors. All the while keeping up with the things that the military requires of them. This cannot have been done without your unwavering support. Be proud of what they have achieved thus far, and know that they are destined to accomplish more. Graduates, as you progress in your careers, will be entrusted with positions of leadership and obtain technical ability. But remember, regardless of the task, it is who you are and what you believe you are capable of is what will be the difference between your failure and your successes. Military members, attention! Graduating students, I will now frock you to the rank of third class petty officers. To all who shall see these presents, presents greetings. Greetings! Know ye that by the authority vested in me, reposing special trust and confidence in the patriotism, valor, fidelity, and abilities of these sailors, I do, by hereby, I do hereby appoint you to the rank of a third class petty officer in the United States Navy, as such from the 12th day of January, 2024. Your appointments as a petty officer in the United States Navy make you heir to a long and proud tradition of naval leadership. By accepting this appointment, you are charged with demonstrating those standards of performance, moral courage, and dedication to the Navy and the nation, with which you will serve as an example for your fellow Navy men and women. Your desire to excel and to guide others must be boundless. Your appearance must be the model for others, and your performance must be a continual reflection of your sincerity. <clears throat> Attention to duty and moral responsibility. By exhibiting unfailing trust and obedience towards superiors, cooperation and loyalty towards your peers, understanding and strength towards your subordinates. You will contribute greatly to the effectiveness and good name of the United States Navy. 
families and friends, please join me in a round of applause for the Navy's newest third class petty officers. Please be seated. Each of these sailors has earned their new title. There are those, however, who stand out as they complete this training, as evidenced by earning the highest grade point average among their classmates. The instructors, advisors, and classmates recognize them for their efforts and their achievements in the classroom, and we call these sailors our honor graduates. Today's honor graduate is electronics technician nuclear third class, Stefan Hoven. Honor graduate, front and center. The Honor Graduate Award will be presented by Commander Corley and Senior Chief Joshua Glass. Military personnel, attention honors. From Commanding Officer, Naval Nuclear Power Training Command, to Electronics Technician Nuclear Third Class, Stefan Hoven. Congratulations for achieving the highest grade point average for your class at Nuclear Field A School Charleston. Your standing reflects your personal motivation, academic excellence, and dedication to duty. Your outstanding performance serves as a superb example to your shipmates and is in keeping with the highest traditions of the United States Naval Service. Signed, J.D. Anderson, Captain, United States Navy. <laughs> Military personnel, please be seated. It is now my pleasure to introduce the section leading petty officer for electronics technician class 2344 Tango. Electricians make nuclear first class, submarines qualified, Nicholas Stevens. Friends, family, finally graduates. Graduation is finally that day, specifically the day where you look back on the last six months, six months and take stock of everything you've been through. I want each and every one of you to look at yourselves now and look at who you were when you moved in from NDOT six months ago. The experience of any school is one that I guarantee has shaped you into a harder worker, better sailor, and more mature adult even if you don't necessarily feel that way now. I promise that the fleet actually does exist and that you've just completed your first step in getting there. For the past few months, you've been asked to perform at a higher level than you've previously been challenged to in your life. And every single thing you've done here does indeed have a purpose to prepare you for the fleet. All the blood, sweat, and many tears you spent studying in this building, preparing for the rigorous qualification of eventually being a reactor operator. All the labs you did, troubleshooting, you had to learn is in preparation for one day being part of a division which owns the equipments that keeps our reactors safe and out to sea. All the VEQ inspections I did on you and your class are in preparation for both your adult life and whenever you get to the boat. What I really want you guys to do now is look at yourselves from my perspective. My job, and something I take great pride in doing, is guiding you through your initial experience in naval nuclear power. There is an end goal for each and every one of you, and that is becoming a reactor operator. When I go home and I ask myself if I completed my job with this class, I'm really asking myself, is every single student in front of me ready to move on to become a reactor operator? And the answer with you, 2344, is yes. I am confident that in your group there are future engineering watch supervisors, RC division chiefs, LPOs, and EDMCs, and even a few master chiefs probably. And that all of you are going to be awesome with what you do in the fleet. So take your time off. When you get to power school, hit the ground running. Use what you've learned on this side of the rickover and build on it. And if you remember nothing from our time together, remember to show up work on time, to do your job, and to look good while doing it. Now presenting class 2344 Tango. Left face. Electronics Technician, third class, Sean Andresen. Electronics Technician, third class, Tyler Buckley. Electronics Technician, third class, Tavon Butler. Electronics Technician, third class, Houston Bird. Electronics Technician, third class, Elizabeth S. Young. Electronics Technician, third class, 
request, Maximus Stolari. Electronic Submission, third request, Nathan Hedger. Electronic Submission, third request, Thomas Costin. Electronic Submission, third request, Ian Landers. Electronic Submission, third request, Gustavo Lara. Electronic Submission, third request, Alec Monroe. Electronic Submission, third request, Michael Perti. Electronic Submission, third request, Matthew Raich. Electronic Submission, third request, Jean J. Vaughn. Following South, their sailors are graduating with distinction. The honor submission, third class, Timothy Brigoli. <laughs> Electronic submission, third class, Jace Hefner. <laughs> Electronic submission, third class, Alexander Hughes. <laughs> Electronic submission, third class, Hasting Lewis. Electronic Technician Third Class, Noah Snyder. <laughs> Electronic Technician Third Class, Reef Taylor. <laughs> the following sailors are graduating with honors. Electronic Technician Third Class, William Taurus. Electronic Technician, third class, Stefan Hoban. <laughs> Electronic Technician, third class, Timothy Manuel. Each of these sailors exerted a great deal of personal drive, overcame obstacles, and made individual sacrifices to make it through. Still, there are those that, by the manner in which they have completed this training, have inspired others. What sets these sailors apart is the consistency in their efforts, their refusal to quit, and the examples that they have set. They demonstrated the qualities most treasured in the Navy, those of honor, courage, and commitment. Navy Nuclear Power Training Command recognized the sailor from each class that displayed the highest levels of military bearing and reliability during their training with the following Personal Excellence Award. The recipient of this award is, when I call your name, please stand and remain standing. Electronics Technician Nuclear Third Class, Timothy Brigold. <laughs> Awardee, front and center. The Personal Excellence Award will be presented by Commander Corley and Senior Chief Joshua Glass. Military personnel, attention honors. From Commanding Officer, Naval Nuclear Power Training Command, to Electronics Ignition Nuclear Third Class, Timothy Brigoli, the Commanding Officer's Personal Excellence Award is awarded to the student who has exhibited the greatest degree of professionalism. This sailor stands apart by virtue of hard work, personal dedication, and a demonstrated desire to succeed. Your dedication to duty, exceptional academic effort, perseverance in the face of adversity has made you an outstanding example for your shipmates to emulate. This performance is in keeping with our Navy Corps values and warrants your selection today as a recipient of Commanding Officer's Personal Excellence Award. Congratulations and well done. Signed, J.D. Anderson, Captain, United States Navy. Please rise for our benediction. I invite you to pray. <clears throat> Gracious God, we thank you again for this time that you have given us to honor and celebrate these graduates. We pray that they will go to their next phase with a sense of pride and confidence, ready to face what lies before them. Bless them now, God, always providing them guidance, safety, and protection. May they strive toward excellence in all that they do. May they go now with the knowledge that they have your fullest and most profound blessings. In your holy name we pray. Amen.
<clears throat> this concludes today's graduation ceremony. Graduates, congratulations and well done. Military personnel, carry on. <clears throat> Thank you.